Hey Cancer, welcome to the Cancerian Vibe. I am your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Cause boo, if you were looking for a Cancer reading, they ain't gonna, you look, you ain't gonna find nothing but Cancer reading. Sorry, you guys. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but you aren't gonna find anything but Cancer readings. So you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the fan boo. I'm a cancer too, so you know we connect that way. Um, but I'm here, you guys, doing your monthly not your monthly, I do do your monthly um readings over on my other tarot channel, Boss um, Boss Lady B Tarot. And if I remember, I will link it in the eye um for you so you can check me out over there. But I'm here doing cancer's weekly reading. This is going to be for excuse me, the week of. March 14th through the 20th. So, yeah, check out the description box below for, um, y'all, interesting. Um, check out the description box for all the important information that you're going to need to know. Um, but let's hop right into it, see what the message is for Cancers for March 14th through the 20th. What does Cancer need to know? Oh, y'all, okay, look at here, Cancer. I'm going to take it, too. Look, I only wanted one, but uh, we got um woman holding a coin and appreciation that came out. So, look here, um, Cancer. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like somebody's been in their gratitude bag um, and showing appreciation, showing gratitude here. And it's like now you're showing up here um, as like this queen of pentacles with your money together here. Um, so, money, I feel like looks really, really good. Um, this week, um, practice gratitude this week. Um, find, <clears throat> find the little things, the small things, find the start of, um, something better. Find, <clears throat> you know how, like this, um, this lady, she's holding this rose in the garden. It looks like dusty and dry or whatever, but it's starting to sprout. Um, you know, find the little small things to appreciate here um, this week. So, yeah, let's see what comes out. Um, but I feel like because you, yes, I feel like because you can um, do that, look, you have a lot of happiness coming towards you here. Total happiness and contentment because you can appreciate, because you can show that gratitude here. Um, happiness is yours. And I feel like, you know, there's a financial aspect as well. Things things that may have been hung up before with this hangman um, on the bottom of the deck, I feel like are um, released. You know, it could have been funds that were hung up before too. Because this coin is like really, really sticking out. What message do you have for cancer? What message do you have for cancer um, for March 14th through the 20th? Yes, look, cancer, we got the magician coming out. So look, I feel like this is your efforts here um, paying off. I feel like this is your work, your hard work, your manifestation. Hopefully you took advantage of the uh, Pisces and the new moon and Pisces energy. Um, and really, really making things happen. But look here at the bottom of the deck with the King of Wands here. Um, I don't know. Look, this King of Wands keeps showing up, Cancer. But I definitely feel like I see you getting um, the fruits of your labor this week. Like that. I mean, the, the vibe, the energy feels really, really great. The Ten of Cups coming out first. Um, what message do you have for Cancer? Oh, y'all. Um, what message? <laughs> What message do you have for cancer from March 14th through the 20th? Ooh, y'all. Okay, wow, y'all. So the hermit came out. Um, The hermit came out. And I feel like y'all been in hermit mode, cancer, because you've been getting your coin together. That's been your laser focus. Um, You also could have been stemming from a broken heart. You know, you could be kind of disinterested in love because you're still feeling with... um dealing with the effects of a broken heart, kind of resting up and trying to rejuvenate after this broken heart. I kind of feel like that's what the energy is. And so you kind of put your focus towards your money and your coin and your security. Um, and now I feel like that's taken off for you. And so now that that's taken off, I feel like love is in the picture as well. With this Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, love is coming in. Look, with this fire sign, 
Leo, Aries, I feel like they are coming in. Single no more. Um, and that kind of came up in the, I did a, a little mini love message for the channel before I do our full love reading. I will, I promise, do a love reading very, very soon because this is really, really interesting, y'all, to see um, coming out. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Look, yeah, so there's something to celebrate here. I feel like you're going to be celebrating something here this week. Um, you could be celebrating with the Leo, but I feel like this is you celebrating. I feel like there's good news or there's some type of success, man, um, where things were slow. Um, there is some type of success here and i feel like people are showing you appreciation here as well like i feel like people are showing you appreciation tell me more about the magician here tell me more about the magician here see oh wow so the nine of wands came out i feel like um i feel like this is you cancer showing up as a nine of wands because it's like i feel like things are starting to come out with this ten of cups coming out first y'all and i just see like this rainbow and these ten cups of like total emotional um fulfillment contentment i feel like it takes you kind of aback it scares you a little bit um, with this nine of wands because you're starting to see what you were manifesting come true. I told you that new moon in Pisces was going, that energy was going to be powerful. Um, an eclipse was happening the same as well. So look, you may have found yourself walking away from things or you may have found that closure. There's some endings. Um, but I feel like whatever you were working on or trying to manifest here, Cancer, it comes in and like it comes in and it kind of scares you at the same time, you guys. Um, also, for somebody, I feel like somebody could be trying to come back in um, and give you an apology here. That can resonate for some people here. But yeah, so the Four of Cups definitely just tried to pop up over you guys with me clarifying this hermit. So I, I definitely feel like somebody's trying to come in and offer you a cup of something whether it's an apology, whether they're attracted to you because you are super, I feel like you're super attractive right now, Cancer, and you just can't help it. And it's almost like the more that you don't want love, it's like the more that it's going to come in. That's so funny how it happens. And it's like when you want it, it's nowhere to be found. But yeah, um, I feel like you're trying to stay in hermit mode, Cancer, and focus on your coin and stuff, but it's like not going to happen. Yeah, there may have been like a, um, there may have definitely been some endings here with the ten of, ten of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. But look at you, moving towards your wish fulfillment with that Nine of Cups. Um, and I feel like this is an answer to your prayer with the judgment here. With judgment coming out. <clears throat> I feel like this is, um, this is an answer to your prayer. Like, but you may have even forgot that you have, um, that you wanted love here, Cancer. It's kind of funny, <laughs> but it's like whatever, whatever you are mess manifesting or like trying to look, it comes in and it scares you. It's like, whoa, I was not ready. I was not ready. Any, um, any other messages for cancer? So yeah. Oh, cancer. So look at this. We got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck and we got the moon card that came out. So definitely there could be, I feel like um, this could be revealed. This relationship could be revealed. This person, this partner could be revealed here very soon um, with the moon card. Also like trust your intuition about this person when they reveal themselves or if you're dealing with this person already, tr like trust your intuition about them. Tell me about a woman holding a coin. Tell me about a woman holding a coin for cancer. See, um, cancer, yeah. So the three of swords came out. I feel like what happened here, you found your strength. Like you, you're recovering from this broken heart. You're you recovering from this broken heart, resting, rejuvenating, and finding your inner strength here. Like you found out how strong you were, but you put all that passion. Um, where you were worried about love and put it into your work. And it's like now you have tangible results to see that. Um, with the strength card here popping out, though, <laughs> y'all, I definitely see, like, I don't know who this Leo is, but um, clarify one holding a point here for cancer. If I want to hold in a coin here for cancer, y'all. A new beginning here with the um with the full card. 
So definitely I feel like, look, your efforts are taking off in a new and um a new and better way here, Cancer. Um, and I feel like you're really um like you're really admired and you're really appreciated here. But like total happiness and contentment towards something that you're working on or we're working on with the Eight of Pentacles coming out. But we got this King of Wands back here at the bottom of the deck with this fire sign. So a fire sign could have been the person that broke your heart here, maybe. Um, but yeah, so all in all for the week, look, Cancer, I'm seeing happiness and content, contentment. Things are coming, um, things are revealing themselves. I feel like you have something to celebrate here. All right, let's pull an oracle card to close the reading. Give me one for Cancer. Give me one for Cancer. Y'all. <laughs> Give me one for Cancer. <clears throat> so we got Archangel Gabriel, Messenger of Creativity and Hope. So, yeah, oh, y'all, and look what's at the bottom of the deck. Money. Find a way to abundance. So, yeah, like I said, y'all are creating something, Cancer. I feel like you're doing something. It may be in regards to something creative, um, but something that's going to bring you money here. Like, you're going to be able to see and touch your results here. Okay. Um, and it may be something... Um, creative here but i feel like you may have lost hope in this before it may have been something that you lost hope in but look you are about to be pleasantly surprised um with that ten of cups coming out first um total happiness and contentment here for the week i'm really really excited you know what guys i'm gonna pull an affirmation um an affirmation for the week i haven't used this deck in a minute um it's called the real talk affirmations I'm going to pull one for the week for cancer. Oop. So, <laughs> look, too many. I was going I was going to read all three but now. Just give me one for cancer for the week. All right, let's see. So we got um beyond 3D that came out. It says sometimes events and situations are beyond are beyond what we can see physically at the moment. Yes, with this moon card here, you may not see it. You may not see this right now, Cancer. Um, it says, now is the time to trust that there's more than meets the eye. Understand that the 3D world we live in is just one aspect of our reality. And we have magic here at the bottom of the deck. Like, that's how I feel like whatever this is that appears for you, this money. And it may be money that shows up for you that um, just has you kind of like, whoa, how? Like, it's almost too good to be true kind of situation here. All right, Kenza, I really, really love it, though. I'm going to leave the reading right there. I really, really hope it resonated with someone. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. I really, 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 really appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing me in the channel. It's truly, truly appreciate, appreciate it. I hope you um sense that gratitude. But until next time, you guys, love ya.